Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorial. In this particular video, I'm going to teach you how to use nested if. So I have a sample data set here. I have some names, I have their marks and I want to find out their results. Now the, to identify the result, this is my criteria. Anybody who is greater than or equals to 90 marks will be uh, called as distinction. Anything greater than 75 is called as first class, right? And the rest are seen over here. So let's get started. I'm going to start with typing in my if formula here. I'm going to say is equals to start with if. I'm going to open the bracket and I'm going to click on B2 cell here and start with top to bottom here. For example, I'm going to select B2 and say if greater than or equals to 90 comma. So the second argument says if this is greater than 90, what is the value that you need to get if it is true? Okay, so you need to open the bracket and type in distinction. Close the quote uh, and then type in comma. And this is our uh, third argument. What if it is false? So we will start writing another, another if condition here. I'm going to write an if, open the bracket, and I'm going to say B2, that's my cell is greater than or equals to 75 then it is first class first class i'm going to close the quote comma and then again it's asking me for another condition i'm going to start typing in if again b2 is equals to greater than or equals to 50 then it is second class close the code comma if b2 is greater than or equals to 35 then it is third class i'm going to close the code say comma so anything that is let uh, any any value other than uh, these values that we have mentioned here will be called as fail sorry i'm going to open the code type in fail i'm going to close the bracket close the code close the bracket close the bracket again close the bracket again close the bracket again till that particular dialog box here disappears i'm going to press enter here click on, click on okay just expand this i've got the result i'm going, just going to drag and drop this formula all the way here so as you can see here 35 is classed as third class 50 is second class 65 is also second class 75 is first class 91 is distinction and 25 is fail so if you can see here all of these results have been matched here let's say if i change any of the values here let's say say type in 85 that will change to first class if I type in 90, it still remains, it, sorry, it goes into distinction. If I type in, let's say, 34, that shows as fail. So this is the way that you type in the if formula. This is a nested if formula. Let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts. And I hope this video has helped you. I hope you've learned something new. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials.